Well, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. We're cooking with an apple a day in our kitchen. Angie, how are you? I'm well. I see almond and apple tartlets yes. and it makes me very happy. How do I make them? Right, very easy, very quick. We've lined the pastry tin already. Right. And now we're going to make the filling, which is a frangipani filling. It's so, a... let me, excuse me. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. The, the, the actual um, uh, pastry. Yes. What type of pastry is it? It's a short pastry, short crust pastry. Okay. Yes. All right. So, I've already lined the tin. Okay. Um, and now we'll make the filling. Okay. Almonds, lovely, and uh, with apples. Very nice. Okay, okay so, here we so go. Here we go. I'm just going to cream the butter and the sugar. Okay. Um, we've already started the process, so we're nearly done with that. So when it's nice and light and fluffy, we can add the eggs. Okay, I'll help. You're going to help. Okay, yeah. you add so eggs. So add the eggs. Do yeah. I add them one by one? Yeah. <laughs> Mix a little bit. And just like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and then add the next one. Okay, cool. So there we go. As long as they're well mixed through. Can I add the other stuff? Yep. Now we'll add the other stuff. Okay, what is this? So we've got a little bit of rum. Ooh, it just smells good. Just because it tastes good. It's only good when it's in your apple and almond tartlets, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then a little bit of vanilla. Okay, I'm smelling everything because I love the smell. Okay. It all go. goes very well with apples. And then now we can just add the ground almonds. Ground almonds. How much of it do you have here? We've got 100 grams. Can I add it? The whole lot at okay. once. 100 grams of ground almonds. Oh, it smells good. And then I'll just stop this thing. It reminds me of festive season, you know, like when you... It's um... got a lovely festive um, flavour and smell. And then we've got a little bit of sasco flour just to help bind it. OK, so there goes our sasco flour in there. Which reminds me, our keyword for today is sasco. Sasco to 33728. So that you can also recreate this beautiful recipe at home. Uh, we're making almonds and apple tartlets. Of course, our theme in the kitchen today is or keeping uh, one apple a day, we say. Uh, so, okay, so the flour is in there. Right. I can see the almonds still. You can see the almonds. Yeah. So they give it a bit of texture. Right. This is now going to bake to sort of almost like sponge-like texture. Oh, um, right. And then, very easy, this is it. Done. We add it to the uncooked pastry shell. Okay. Why don't you cook it beforehand? Um, because the whole thing is going to cook together. All right. Oopsie. So little, in there. Little messy. Um, we add that in there, All just right. flatten it out. And this is my little secret trick. I buy these tomato paste tins, ah. take the top and bottom off, and they become little tins. Okay, and you can do exactly the same thing at home and keep it inexpensive. Okay. Right, and then we've just got apple, which I've already sliced. Do you put it on while. Okay, before it goes into the apple. The whole thing is just assembled, brushed with a little bit of. Oopsie, butter. So a little bit of butter on top. Messy. Little icing sugar, and then we bake it. You are kidding me! And just it looks like, like that. that, and then it looks like that. Comes out of the oven. Um, brush it with some melted apricot jam. Yeah. And it looks delicious. And then some toasted almonds on the top. I don't do the almonds first because the almonds will go too dark because yeah. um, it bakes for a little bit long. Yeah. And then serve it with some creme fraiche or custard, nice homemade custard as well. Wow, actually and that there looks we go. amazing. Our keyword for this morning is Sasco, Sasco to 33728. You heard it, apple a day. You can create and make anything with it really. And this time around, almonds and apple tartlets. Mm. That looks really yum, you know? Mm, breakfast. But I don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> You're gonna have to try it. I'm gonna have to try it. So while I try this, we will be back after the break. Another delicious recipe brought to you by Sasco Flour. Always soft and fluffy.